Hi everyone, today we're taking a look at building our very own personal cloud storage. We make use of a software package called OwnCloud and it's relatively easy to set up. We will go through the basic setup as well as mounting our own external drive to store all our files on. So let's get started. Firstly you will need a Raspberry Pi with Raspbian installed. If you haven't installed it then you can check out my guide here. First thing we need to do is update the Pi and its packages. To do this, run the following command. sudo apt-get update and once that is done, run sudo apt-get upgrade. Now we need to open the config tool. To do this, enter the following command. sudo raspberry config now first go to the internationalization options and then select change locale. Change this to en underscore us utf8. Save that and next go to advanced options and then go to memory split and update this to 16. Finally go to overclock and change this to medium. Now go to finish and your Pi will ask to restart. Select yes. Now we want to add the www-data user to the www-data group. To do this, enter the following command. sudo usermod-a-g www-data then www-data again. Now we need to install all the required packages. It's probably best to copy this over at pymyliveup.com as there is quite a few. So let's head over there. Just go straight to pymyliveup.com slash raspberry dash pi dash own cloud. Scroll down to the packages. Now simply copy and paste. Now this will take maybe a couple of minutes to install. Once we have installed, we will need to create an SSL certificate. You can do this by running the following command. Now this command again is pretty complex, so let's copy it straight from pymylifeup.com. Now just enter the relevant data it asks you for. And once that is done, we need to chmod the two cert files we just generated. To do this, enter sudo chmod 600 slash etc slash enginx slash cert dot perm and then again sudo chmod 600 slash etc slash enginx slash cert dot key. Now before we proceed, we need to first clear the server config file since we will be copying and pasting our own version straight into it. To do this, enter sudo sh dash c double quotes echo comma single quote single quote for greater than sign slash etc slash injinx slash sites dash available slash default double quotes. Now let's open the file so we can copy and paste our own configuration straight into it. Enter sudo nano slash etc slash injinx slash sites dash available slash default. Now head back over to pymylifeup.com and find a big block of code. Copy this entire section and now paste it into the file. Make sure the server name is your pi's IP. You can find the server name part here. If you haven't got your Pi's IP address, you can find it by typing hostname-i. Once done, simply exit and save by pressing Ctrl plus X and then Y. Now there are a few more things we will need to do. First, open up a PHP config file by entering sudo nano slash etc slash php5 slash fpm slash php.ini. In this file we want to find and update the following lines. Control W will allow you to search. Change upload Mac file size to 2000M. Change post Mac size and again update this to 2000M. Once done, save and exit. Now we need to edit the www.conf file. 
by entering the following command. sudo nano slash etc slash php5 slash fpm slash pool dot d www.conf. In here, update the listen line to the loopback address with a port 9000. So listen equals 127.0.0.19000. Once done, simply save and exit. Now we need to edit the dphys swap file. To do this, enter sudo nano slash etc slash dphys dash swap file. Now update the conf underscore swap size line to 512. Once done, exit and save. Now restart the Pi by entering sudo reboot. Once the Pi has restarted, we need to install owncloud. To do this, enter the following commands sudo mkdir p slash var slash www slash owncloud sudo wget https colon forward slash forward slash download dot owncloud dot org slash community slash owncloud dash eight point one point one point tar point bz two once that has downloaded, we will need to unzip it by entering the following sudo tar xvf owncloud 8.1.1.tar.bz2. Now move the unzip file to our web server by entering the following command sudo mv owncloud slash slash var slash www slash now make sure the www-data user owns everything in the www folder by entering the following command sudo chown capital r www-data colon www-data slash var slash www. Now remove everything we no longer need by entering the following command rm dash rf own cloud own cloud dash 8.1.1 point tar point bz2. We also need to make some changes to the .ht access file and the user.ini file over in the owncloud folder. First let's move into the owncloud directory by entering the following command cd slash var slash www slash owncloud. Now open up the .ht access file by entering the following command sudo nano .ht access. In here update the following lines php value upload max file size and update this to 2000m php value post max size update this to 2000m and finally update php value memory limit to 2000m now simply save and exit and now we need to open up the user.ini file to do this enter sudo nano.user.ini in here update the following values upload max file size to 2000m post max size to 2000m and finally memory limit to 2000m now that is done we should be able to connect to owncloud at your pi's ip address now on your first visit to your owncloud website it will complain about the certificate simply add this to your list of exceptions but before we set up the admin account, we're going to set up a external drive. To do this, we will need to mount it so we have lots of disk space for our Raspberry Pi own cloud server to store on. Firstly, if you have an NTFS drive, we will need to install the NFTS package by entering the following. sudo app-get install nfts-3g Now let's make a directory that we can mount to sudo mkdir slash media slash owncloud drive. Now we will need to get the GID, the UID of the www-data user and the UUID of our drive. Make sure you write these down as we will need to use them all soon. Enter the following command for GID, id-g www-data. Now for the UID, enter the following command id dash u www dash data also if we get the uuid of a hard drive the pi will remember this drive even if you plug it into a different usb port to get the uuid enter the following command ls dash l slash dev slash disk slash 
by dash UUID. Copy the light blue letters and numbers of the last entry, as you can see here. Now let's add the drive into the FSTAB file, so it is booted with the correct permissions. To do this, open the following file, sudo nano slash etc slash fstab. Now add the following line to the bottom of the file, updating UID, GID and the UUID with the values we got before. So this is the line that will link my hard drive to the media slash own cloud drive folder. Once done, save and exit, and now reboot the Pi by entering sudo reboot. Now the drive should be automatically be mounted. To check this, enter ls slash media slash own cloud drive, and you should see any files that were on the drive. If it is all good, then we're ready to set it up. In your browser, head over to your Pi's IP address. In my case, it's 192.168.1.116. When you first open up OwnCloud, you should be presented with a simple setup screen and no errors. Now enter your desired username and password. Click on storage and database and enter your external drive here. In my case, it was slash media slash OwnCloud drive. You can skip this step if you didn't end up setting up an external drive. Click finish setup and it should all load up now. Now if you want to have access to your cloud drive outside the local network you will need to port forward. You can check out my guide on port forwarding here. Use the following ports 80 for internal and I recommend a random port for the external port. But keep in mind that some ports are reserved so it's best to check but the one you choose to use is free. I hope this tutorial has helped you make your very own Raspberry Pi own cloud. If you have any troubles, want to leave feedback, or if I have missed anything, feel free to drop us a comment below or over at buymylifeup.com. Until next time, have a good one. Looking for more Pi projects to do? Check out these 21 awesome Pi projects that anyone can do. Don't forget to subscribe so you can stay up to date with the latest and greatest projects, guides and much more.